Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, you know, Halloween's right around the corner, and I still can't find a way to make my ghost costume levitate. Jetpacks are too loud, strings are too weak. But you know what? Superconductors might work. I can use the perfect diamagnetism of superconductors in order to repel another magnet's magnetic field through the Meissner effect. Superconda what? Now, before you call me crazy, take a second with me to understand exactly what superconductors are and how they work. Superconductors are materials that when cooled into below a very low temperature called the critical temperature exhibit two properties. One, zero electrical resistivity, and two, complete repulsion and expulsion of magnetic fields. BCS theory is the first theory to help explain superconductivity as a quantum effect. Zero electrical resistivity? How is that physically possible? Well, let's first consider a normal conducting material such as this copper wire at room temperature. If we use a battery to induce a current, we can think of the electrons as flowing through a lattice of positive ions which vibrate due to thermal energy, causing the electrons to frequently collide with the ions and with themselves, dissipating energy in the form of heat and light. A perfect example of this can be seen in the case of a light bulb, in which a current is run through a high resistivity wire, which then releases energy in the form of light and heat. Now, let's see what happens when we lower the temperature below the critical temperature. The thermal energy is so low that vibrations in the lattice are negligible. In accordance to BCS theory, this, in conjunction with phonons' presence in the material, which are collective periodic vibrations within the ion lattice, and electrostatic attractions, electrons end up forming pairs known as Cooper pairs. These pairs condense into a quantum state corresponding to a network of electrons, known as a condensate, passing through the ion lattice with no collisions. With no collisions, no energy is lost, allowing the electrons to flow forever with zero electrical resistivity. Perhaps one of the most interesting properties of superconductors can be observed in what is known as the Meissner effect. The unique superconductive state makes materials perfectly diamagnetic, meaning when a magnetic field is applied to the material, electrical currents are induced in the surface of the material which generate a magnetic field that perfectly counters the applied field. The net result is a repulsion and expulsion of the applied field, never allowing it to penetrate the superconductor fully. The disk behind me is being submerged in super cold liquid nitrogen in order to get it down to its critical temperature. This is what is allowing it to have zero electrical resistivity and to completely expel and repel the magnetic field lines coming from the neodymium magnetic cube. That's why it's levitating. It must be noted that if the temperature, applied magnetic field, or electrical current going through the superconductor is too high, then the material will lose its superconductivity. At the end of the day, superconductors can be used for all kinds of cool applications, ranging from levitating trains in Japan to some of the biggest particle accelerators used by scientists. However, for me, I need them for my Halloween costume.